What's up, everybody? Justin here from Sparrow Websites, home of the launch kits. Hey, today, I know I'm not Sally. Get over it. All right, you got over it. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit about um, how to find smart blog topics for your website. Now, I've learned a lot from Sally, and she would be doing this um, if she wasn't rocking it out um, for another client right now. So, hey, I want to give you what I've both learned from her, seen work, and helped clients do. So the question is this. How do you find smart topics for your blogs? All right. I'm going to show you three simple ways that you can do this. Um, writing blog content, updating your site with fresh content, you know, whether it's project stories, case studies, answers to common questions is key to helping build trust in your brand with Google. Um, so don't just let your website become a, you know, really cool digital postcard actually make it a helpful resource to both validating your services or answering questions all right let's get started first way you can do it the best content other than like case studies or project stories um, which are sometimes a little bit you know hard for you to get the right images tell the story and work on is this go to google just open up google straight up and you're going to type in you're going to click on google and you're going to start typing in a keyword term you want to be found for so we're just going to go after uh, landscapers all right so I'm going to start typing in landscape and I want to see Google's suggested search topics all right Google is suggesting these because they are the top search terms that are entered in your area so it landscaping near me landscaping Columbia PA landscaping Langster da 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 um, landscaping ideas any of these are actually potential blog topics you could write about. So if it's, you know, landscaping Lancaster, you could write a blog about, hey, we love landscaping in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We've done these homes. Here's examples. Our average cost is X. We have a such and such guarantee and our timeline is Y. I mean, you could pop out that in a, a blog in no time. Let's just say if you're an attorney or let's say an accountant, accounting services, Okay, so it's accounting services near me. Accounting services for small business. So you could write a blog about, hey, looking for accounting services for small business or for nonprofits. So these are all blogs that you can write. Um, or a lot of times, you know, people are looking for their code, NAICS code. So what is it? How do I find it? Um, there's price lists. So you can write a blog answering these questions. Um, let's just say you're in real estate. So, you know, homes for sale now near me mechanics but these are like top areas so you can write a blog about that so again google's suggested search is actually a really simple way to find out what type of blog question should i answer we could also do things like how much does it cost for a you know website and here are things that you know you could say for um you know basement remodel or renovation so there you go like renovation um, versus remodel you can see renovation tops it or replacing so again whatever your industry is what is the question that you want to be found for when people are googling it you can just start typing it in and this is a great resource all right that's number one number two go to answer the all right it's a really fun resource it's a really smart resource and you can use it for free, I believe five searches a day. All right, so it's always got this really fun little thing doing here. So we're just gonna, in this one, you're saying, what are people asking about? And then you wanna typically type in your industry. So I'm just gonna go to landscape again, landscaping. All right, and we hit search. Okay, it thinks for a little bit. And then look at this, it's actually, you know, looking at accurate instant data from Google some people like the visualization. So, you know, are landscaping services taxable? There's things are using the preposition are. You could write a blog about that. This is based on real time data. Um, you could do it this way, you know, landscaping for privacy. These are all top searches. So, hey, looking for landscaping for privacy, here's some great ideas. I mean, it's such a brilliant tool. If you prefer to look at it a different way, you can put it in the data way. Um, and look, can landscaping be done during lockdown? I mean, goodness, write a blog about that right now. Hurry up. Stop what you're doing. <laughs> write out your answer. Um, how long should the answer be? I'll tell you that in a moment. Um, so answer the public. Great tool. Type in your um, question. You have all these different, um, you know, if you like to be more of a comparative 
you know, uh, landscaping gardening services. What's the difference? So again, go to town, answer the public.com, have a blast. Here's the third way to do it. Guess who? Your secretary, your admin, or your personal experience talking to people on the phone. What is the question that they keep asking? Answer it in a blog post. All right. So let's talk about how long should that blog post be. All right. So I'll just bring up our website here. We post, um, you know, blogs that are commonly asked questions or tips or things that we'll focus on. Um, so we can use this as an example. There's a lot of types of blogs um, that you can write. Some of them are kind of how to, some of them are very step by step. So here's how long, at least 300 words. Okay. So 300 words ends up being a couple paragraphs. It's actually pretty easy to get to. You're just kind of answering the question um, and giving a short answer. At most, if you want a killer resource that actually has how to, you're going to end up probably 800 to 1500 words. That space between 300 and 800 words is actually really not that helpful because you don't quite get into enough detail to actually solve the problem. And, or, you know, so it's like, too long for the skimmer and not enough help for the person who actually wants to do it. So what you want, again, we're just going to make sure you know that, you know, how long should a blog be at least 300 or go for that 800 to 1500, um, you know, three, 400 words is fine. But that, again, that like blanket space between 500 and 800, you know, three, 400, 800 words, you got to be careful if you land in there, Google will index it. Google will still, you know, find it, but, that's how long. So a few paragraphs or, you know, a page or two, uh, or not a page or two, but you know, it turns out to be maybe eight to 10 paragraphs. Um, here's another example of a great um, brand that we work with and their blogs are very like informative. Um, yeah, very kind of explanatory just to give you ideas. Um, so give you another example here. Again, if you're on our support teams, you can send us the blog you write. Just write it in an email. We'll formulate it, put H2s, H3s, you know, put calls to action, put feature images, dates, and we'll post that on your website. So don't forget that we're here to support you on that. All you need to do is essentially write the answer in an email to support a spare websites. All right. So do this on a monthly basis um, for your brand to grow with organic SEO. If it's too much, to do yourself, we have SEO support post-launch services that we offer at Sparrow. But honestly, we want to train you and empower you to do it. Um, we want you to grow your brand with your organic content, answering the questions you know you're getting from customers. So again, you can go to Google and do it. You can go to Answer the Public and just type in a, a topic there and find out what people are actually asking or just go off uh, what your secretary or the phone calls ringing are or uh, asking now, how often should you do it? The answer, as consistently as you can. If it's once a month, do it once a month. Have a cup of coffee with your website, write that blog once a month. Send us the email, we'll post it on your site. If you can do it every week, sure, that's even better. Um, it's gonna help grow organic backlinks and trust building to your website. So whatever your industry is, whatever your service is, um, think of, how you want to serve them on your website with blogs and hey all you got to do is ask us to help you post it and we'll take care of that so you're the content expert you can send us the answers to the questions and we'll help you get it posted on your website all right have a great time with launch kits we'll see you next time when we talk about local seo tips and strategies with adam